Good evening from London. The FTSE All Share was trading in negative territory today as Prime Minister Boris Johnson announced a tax rise of up to £10 billion a year. Reforms to social care in the country will be funded by a rise in national insurance. The controversial move is seen as an attempt to get a handle on public borrowing, which has ballooned during the coronavirus. China exports jumped 25.6% year-on-year in August to $294.3 billion, above expectations of a 17.1% rise. Despite tariff hikes, exports to the U.S. rose 15.5% last month, accelerating from July's 13.4% growth. The trade figures come amidst disruption in industrial production chains due to last year's global economic shutdown. Japan household spending grew less than expected in July as the spread of the Delta variant of the coronavirus hindered consumer activity. Spending in the world's third largest economy rose 0.7% year-on-year in July after a revised 4.3% fall in June, weaker than the 2.9% gain forecast by economists. Spending on food, leisure and transportation rose, while spending on consumer electronics, utility payments and face masks fell. The data is fueled concerns that Japan's economy is at risk of slowing down in the third quarter. German factory orders unexpectedly rose in July as Europe's largest economy continues its strong recovery from the coronavirus pandemic. According to figures released by Destatis, factory orders increased 3.4 percent on the month, following a 4.6 percent rise in June. Economists had forecast a 0.7 percent decline. The record was achieved despite global shortages of semiconductors, which has limited production in key sectors for the German economy. Those are your main stories from London at close of business.